going on guys it is new year's eve we're out here in the garage with the power wheels i've got a custom setup here for my daughter ella i've got a raspberry pi 4b in a uh, enclosed case has a fan hooked up to the back of it there and this is attached to a eight inch i believe that's an eight inch um, touch screen monitor for the raspberry pi and then I've mounted a pretty decent um, speaker on the back. It's a Unz is the brand. It's Bluetooth capable, but I've chosen just to go straight in with the cable there, the aux cable. And we don't have to worry about Bluetooth configuration when it reboots, things like that. Plus it's a little more clean. Um, power source right now, I've got a, a USB battery, portable battery here that I've mounted in the hood under the hood, I should say, of the Power Wheels Jeep. So all we have to do is plug in that USB cable to the power source cable for the Pi and the monitor, which I'll do right now. Give me one second. Okay, that's plugged in. Let's go ahead and watch this thing boot up. I've coded a custom application for her as well in Python. It's my language of choice. Had it all working perfect this morning on the PC within just probably a half hour. Um, well, that's version two where I've added video capability. But I'll admit it took me a couple hours to port this thing over to the Raspberry Pi. There were a lot of dependencies that didn't want to install, but I got through it, um, got everything working on the Pi. So I went ahead and backed up this image as well to an IMG file on the desktop. That way I can just rip it whenever I need to if anything breaks. I also uh, plan on making some revisions. Next step will be to add the uh, emulation station, and then I'm going to mount a USB-based Super Nintendo controller, find a way to mount it neatly on here so that she can grab it and play whenever she wants. So that'll be the fourth button on this custom menu here. I've got a low voltage uh, warning there. I need to look into that, but for now, uh, this is the main screen of Ella's custom application. It's called Ella's Cool Jeep. So the first one is just the leftover soundboard I had from Halloween. I figure if we ever take her trick-or-treating in this, she can launch that. So you just basically touch each one. And this is a soundboard you guys have probably seen if you watch my videos. Uh, and then we can touch any of these and it'll play the corresponding sound so that's the halloween soundboard i didn't code the kill channel 2 audio but that's okay it's only a few seconds per sound so that's the soundboard i can add as many applications here as i want they're just basically different python screens this is a music menu so if we hit that it should take us into uh her playlist of music. So I've added a few songs here. Stinky Feet. Stinky Feet. Stinky Feet. It's one of her favorites. Jack. And then what took me the longest was the video portion, but I got it working. Uh, using FF Pi Player or FF Pi Video Player, I forget the exact name, but so it plays the video with the audio if you want to stop it you just tap it bring you back here so we can play we got blippy on there you can stop that and you can add, you can add as many videos as you want you just need to get them into mp4 or at least for my program i've got them into mp4 format um, and again each one of these sub screens has an exit button that'll take you back to uh the main menu here, Ellis Cool Jeep. So again, this is kind of version one, or maybe 1.2 of this application that I've built for her. I plan on, next thing will be adding the emulation station, getting her USB controller working, probably throw some Nintendo games on there. Um, you know, teach her the old school roots of gaming maybe while she's driving. <laughs> and don't worry folks, I know you're saying, how can she drive and do all that? Comes with a parental 
uh, controller so I can actually steer and um, accelerate and brake the car for her. So she can stay focused on the infotainment system that I've built here while I drive. All right, guys, that was uh, first video regarding the custom Power Wheels Pimp My Ride Raspberry Pi build. And keep your eye out for the next one where I'll have emulation station and the controller set up. Happy New Year. Take care.